going out to Bridgestone Arena. And I think this might as well be a paper bag, so... Uh... Holy... <laughs> my god so i still haven't even gotten the footage onto my computer from the skate today jumping on the ice with a few buddies running through some drills trying on the true one piece skates again testing out some camera stuff which was a lot of fun so if you haven't seen that video make sure you go check that one out but now it's time to get ready for the second skate of the day i'm gonna be honest this first one really took it out of me like i'm absolutely gassed which is great but uh really gonna have to kind of like dig deep for this second skate should be a really fun one we're going out to bridgestone arena uh i'm gonna be rocking the vintage gear but i have a new chest protector oh an old chest protector what I'm trying to say is that I have this Glenn Miller chest protector uh, that I picked up pretty recently. Uh, the cool thing about this, and I don't know if, if it's maybe kind of like showing my age a bit, but this was made the same year that I was born, <clears throat> 1988, which is 35 years ago. So um, yeah, gotta be rocking the 80s set today. Um, I'm thinking about rocking the Cooper. I don't know, I, I thought I would maybe rock the Jofa helmet or the Cooper, I'm not really sure yet. My pads are actually Jofa pads, so I don't know, maybe I'll just rock the full Jofa setup. Yeah, I think that might be the move. But continuing from that last skate this morning, uh, getting familiar with those one-piece skates again, I'm gonna be throwing those on again for this skate today. I have a pair of vintage skates, all right? All you vintage guys out there who, um, you know, get on to me for wearing modern skates when I wear vintage gear, Charles Partridge of Cooper Goalie. Who, by the way, if you're not following Charles Partridge, if you like vintage goalie stuff in any way, shape, or form, check out Cooper Goalie on Instagram, on YouTube. Like, his stuff is incredible. He has such a crazy collection of vintage goalie gear. I ended up going up to visit him. Uh, it's been a while now, actually, but seeing his collection uh, myself was absolutely insane. And to be able to go through and pick out some fun gear to play with uh, made for a really good video too so go check that video out too but you know just mainly go follow cooper goalie like his stuff is awesome but yeah even though i kind of wish i would have gotten a nap between these skates we just don't we don't have time all right this this life we're living is just non-stop you know what i mean so oh, we gotta get going dude we gotta pack the bag again we gotta head out to the arena we're jumping on the ice doing vintage stuff i wish i could rock this thing i just don't i don't have the balls for that i'm just too scared you know, whatever, let's get out of here. The level of comfort on this blocker is at like a two. The palm on this thing is so stiff right now. And honestly, the glove, I don't think is really much better. Uh, it's, it's a little bit better. As far as protection, this offers pretty much nothing. This might as well be a paper bag. So um, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Also, the smell in here is like so bad. Like everything is fresh in here, fresh off that skate this morning. But let's get this thing packed and head out of here before we're late again. Why? Why am I always late to things? I swear, it's like I'm not trying to be that guy. Oh yeah, Charles, I'm not wearing vintage knee guards either. I'm gonna hear something about it. Got the vintage sticks and all. This is just a Canadian tire, sure, with nothing special. Also, is it dorky that I'm rocking like the vintage goalie hat and the vintage goalie shirt for this thing? Like, oh, I felt like it was too perfect not to. Uh, let's go to the ring before we're running late. Again, typical. can't ask for a more beautiful day in Nashville right now. It's not better beautiful than you. 
Like, I definitely feel a little weird walking around with goalie gear just hanging out downtown. I mean, full vintage setup going on here. But we're about to walk up to the front, see what this event's looking like, and get things going. Beautiful freaking day, man. Look at this. Holy little vintage boy. See how we do, huh? No clue how to play vintage. We'll see how it goes. Going with that Hextall curve, which honestly, like, I think this stick is definitely broken. No clue how to play with this thing. Well, first shot was a success. Oh, big play of the puck here. <laughs> nice and simple for the boys. Man, these pants keep like dropping on me. I don't know if I got my suspenders on right or what. These are all over the place. I know at some point I'm gonna end up playing like modern goalie just cause uh, there's no way I can just get break these habits. Drop into the butterfly, but honestly these pads, it's weird. They flare out like a regular set of pads. Like that's straight up modern goalie, like with the way these flare out. We'll see if we can keep the stand-up style going. I'm really just on the hunt for that big, like outstretched blocker. Big kick. <laughs> I just can't break the butterfly. Everything is butterfly. We gotta stand up. Pretty sick playing in Bridgestone though. Like vintage gear in an NHL arena. I don't know, there's something really cool about that. This stick is for sure broken. Oh, can you see that? Oh no, I gotta switch to my other stick. It's honestly crazy the contrast between you know, skating in my true set this morning. That modern goalie gear versus the, the vintage goalie gear. Like everything is so marshmallowy. The modern stuff is so, you know, hard, rigid, a lot more precise. These are just a bunch of pillows. <laughs> the kick save. <laughs> Pretty excited about the kick save on that one, but obviously right to the guy. Bad rebound control, Bonesy. We gotta clean that up. Oh, we got a little situation here. Should I play modern? Yes. Just can't help it. Like I spent all morning playing, running through these drills. Now I'm supposed to break all that. Maybe I should have more vintage goalie days and just do straight up goalie drills in vintage gear. And every time I break the vintage style and play modern, it's push-ups. I'm either gonna be jacked or I'm gonna be a sick vintage goalie. That's why I'm here. For that one save, I can go home happy now. These pants are getting kind of annoying, honestly. Dropping down. <laughs> uh oh. My eyes were closed the whole time. <laughs> All right, I'll stand up only. I'll stand up. Yeah, good job. Standing up, doing great. Playing stand up goalie. Yeah, that's stand up for sure. Nice push across behind me. 
Yeah, I gotta be honest, this chest protector is way more protective than uh, the other one I had. I had this Vaughn thing that was just not protective at all, like not safe. Oh, here we go. Here you go, Goose! But this thing is an absolute tank in comparison. I'm so excited about this chest protector. It's crazy though, like this thing was made the year I was born. Oh, big shot from the point. <laughs> Just butterfly. Oh, big turnover here. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's our guy Goose. It's unbelievable, the guys. An emergency backup goalie and he skates like that, and able to stick handle. I don't know what that was. Oh, I was going for the two pad stack. Oh yeah, we're going for it. Thanks buddy. Is that a butterfly slide? Okay, there it is. Bonesy's tired. His pants keep falling off my ass. You missed a spot. I'm feeling really good on that blocker side. Like that blocker side kick, oh, so nice. But that glove side, I just can't wrap my head around that one. I just, I really want to like play it like I normally would. I was coming. It's a water bottle on the other side of the glass there. Ah, that's where I left my vodka. Yeah. Yeah, goose. Are you ready to play goalie? Yeah. It's your no. turn. Now I'm going to skate out in vintage gear. Jesus, man. Holy, you're ready. Nah, you're dialed in, baby. How you feeling out there? Yeah? Back-to-back -back game. I had to change sticks. The other one was broken. This one's like a youth stick. The old Canadian tire special. Usually I have the flame tape on there, but uh, standard white tape. Classic. I'm just gonna have to get in super low. Holy, that's so low. <laughs> Big save by Goose. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little too flashy. <laughs> it's cool, but it's like it's not vintage, you know? No idea what I'm doing. I don't know if I can play the puck with this stick. It's so low. So much flex too. Oh, this is my opportunity. Just playing it safe. Good stick handling decisions out here, not getting too flashy. <sighs> kind of a big deal. Oh, we got, might got it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, we got a big opportunity here for a two pad stack, watch this. <laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't the two pad stack I was hoping for. <laughs> He's so fun, man, just whacking pucks around. I'll make a really good stand up save. At some point. <laughs> Textbook, baby. Oh, we got a little breakaway situation. <laughs> okay, that's the save of the day. Holy man. Yeah, we can go home after that one. I thought it was the blocker save that felt really good to end on. That might be it. I'm gonna be honest, man. My eyes were closed. 
Oh yeah, I got a water bottle. That's nice. Yeah, I definitely feel better about this chest protector. I think that was kind of the one thing really keeping me from playing in the vintage gear more. That and the skates, like those Lang skates are so hard to play in. Obviously the one piece skates that I'm playing in today are a little bit easier and it's kind of nice settling into these again. But yeah, this chest protector is a tank. You know, I don't have to worry about getting smoked. I don't know, maybe I'll get some Cooper pads. These drawfers are cool, but it'd be sweet to get a full set of, a full set of Cooper. Stand up here, we go, oh yeah. Yeah, nothing's getting through that. See, I stood that one up. <laughs> yeah, thanks buddy. That's a stand up save, Bonesy, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know if that's how they played pucks back in the day. The old Turco grip might have come around a little after the 80s. That was gonna be it. Ah! I think I need to practice my two pad stacks. That might have to be a thing. <laughs>